Hey everybody, it is me, Vincent, and I am back here at Universal Orlando's City Walk for another dining review video. This time, we're checking out Antajitos, baby. This is City Walk's Mexican restaurant, and Mexican is one of my favorite types of food to get. So I am super, super excited to eat here and show you guys what it's like. So welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. Watch out. Hola, mi amigos, bienvenido al nuevo eh, video of Vincent Vision. <laughs> Sorry, I, I do speak some Spanish, but I will run out at a certain point during a conversation. <laughs> I'm here at City Walk. I'm doing another dining video. I, I love doing these videos. I think all the City Walk restaurants are super awesome and people want to know what it's like to eat at them. So I'm doing a video where I'm focusing on each of the restaurants here. I've done one for Tucson, I've done one for Calfish, and now we're doing for Antajitos. This is the Mexican restaurant here at City Walk. It is on the second level. It's right by Margaritaville. It is dinner only right now. They are open from 4 to 12 a.m. and I have got a dinner reservation for right at 4 o'clock when the place opens up. It is a little busy though. It seems like a lot of other people had the same idea as I did, but I'm excited to get inside, get my table, and check out this very interesting looking restaurant. We got our table right over here, and if you were interested in scanning the QR code while watching this video, this is it right here. This is the menu to Antijitos if you want to read along while you watch. So we're seated, we got our table, we're here at Antijitos. I'm wearing my uh, the most tropical shirt I could find in my wardrobe to sort of uh, <laughs> help the experience of eating here. I'm super, super excited. Like I said a little earlier, I love Mexican food. I think it's like my favorite type of food. So I'm excited to eat here at Antijitos. I haven't eaten here for quite a while, but this restaurant's been here since 2014. And it has some pretty favorable reviews. Like everywhere it seems like it's pretty well reviewed. It's got four stars on TripAdvisor. So people seem to like it. And I'm excited to reacquaint myself with this restaurant. This is a very roomy restaurant. You know, it is really big. It's got two floors. I think they're only doing the first floor right now, but you still feel like you got a lot of space. I've got a table here and I'm kind of nice and spacious. There's a stage over here for live music, which is expected to play tonight, so that'll be really, really nice. It's really fun, it's designed really well. The music they're playing is like Spanish covers of like popular songs, like I heard the devil went down to Georgia, but in Spanish, so that's kind of fun. This place has got a really, really cool vibe. For these types of reviews, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of like one thing from each type of the menus. So like I'm gonna get an appetizer, an entree, I guess a dessert, and a drink. I did order myself a drink, and it's gonna show up in just a second. Of course, you get your chips and salsa when you order. I got some water. I ordered a mojito that's on the way. This is what I got so far. This is a lot of chips and this salsa is actually really, really good. So they're gonna make me some guacamole to go with my chips. Because how can you not have chips in salsa at a Mexican restaurant, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. We got our drink and a cool little cup here. This is a classic mojito. Obviously, they have margaritas here and things like that, made with tequila. I don't really like tequila, I know. The mojito is actually first made in Havana, Cuba. And since I am of Cuban descent, it felt only right to get this drink. So let's give it a little taste, shall we? Ooh. It's good, but you know what? It's sweet, it is nice, it's got, it's got that mint, it's got that rum in it. It's perfect on a really, really hot day, like today. So. It's good, I'm glad I have it. Okay, I'm excited, I'm excited. Fresh is always better. Oh, that's awesome. Our table side guac has arrived. Nadia is gonna make it. Show me what you got. To let you know, in our guacamole, we have tomatoes, red onion, garlic, green olives, jalapeno, cilantro, salt, lime, and olive oil. Awesome. Is that all good? That is all good. Ta-da! 
that looks so good. Thank you so much. This looks so good. And come on, it was literally made right in front of me. Like, how am I not gonna enjoy it? Now the only thing left to do is try it. Oh, that's a good scoop right there. That was so good. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Like, I got like a super salty chip. The, the I don't know, the guacamole is so good. This is awesome. I just imagine myself coming back here and eating just the guacamole with like some drinks with friends. This is awesome. And like, obviously, you have to get the table side guac if you're coming to Antihito's. This is great. And a little bit before my table side guac got here, I was actually able to get my chicken burrito. It's got some queso, some ranchero sauce on it. I got some beans and some guac here. And this guac was okay, but this table side guac is where it's at. This was so good. That's a lumpy little mess of a burrito, but it looks pretty good. Chicken burrito is pretty good. It's got rice, it's got chicken, it's got beans. Um, the cheese on top is a little, a little thicker than I was imagining, but it's still, still pretty solid. I think I'm most impressed by the guac so far though. This is pretty okay. I wanna see if I can get like a hot sauce. I wanna see what their spiciest hot sauce is. I love, I love, I love hot sauces. So hopefully they have something I can put on the burrito and make it extra special. This is it here. Hot sauce. Oh. So we have a chef wanting to know, take caution. Okay. All right, well, we'll try. I'm usually pretty okay with hot sauces, so we'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I'm, I love it too. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. All right, this is it. This is from the kitchen, and now that I look at it, okay, it looks a little. You can just tell when something's like a little bit spicy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like do a little baby dip. Okay. Okay. All right, there's something there. There's something there. I thought there wasn't gonna be, but there's something there. You know, you, you, you gotta wonder sometimes at these theme parks, how spicy are they gonna make their actual hot sauces? And this isn't too bad. There's a little bit of a baby spice, but I can handle it. We're gonna slab this thing all over my burrito. This here, this is the water. They serve here at Antiguitos. <laughs> it's a very refreshing drink here. <laughs> I'm gonna save what little appetite I have left for dessert. They have a fried ice cream that's like five bucks. So I'm assuming it's like small or something like that. Take a couple bites out of that and then get on out of here. But overall, this has been a pretty great meal. You know, the mojito was great, the guac was awesome, the burrito was really solid. I'm excited to get a little bit of baby fried ice cream and then uh, get on out of here. <laughs> this is the fried ice cream here. Look, it came with some churro sticks. Nice and warm and powdered just right. Hmm. Very soft too. I have never had fried ice cream before. I think I'm gonna like it, let's see. Oh wow, this is almost like granola or something on top of the ice cream, it's so good. This is great, that's awesome. And for five bucks, awesome. The last thing I'm waiting for before I get out of Antihitos is the live mariachi band to perform on this stage over here. I wanna see him play a couple songs and then we can get on out of here. But until they show up, I'm gonna eat this fried ice cream that is very, very good. It's really nice of them. They let me actually put a picture of myself up here. <laughs> See the resemblance? Like that. <laughs> the food overall was really great. I got a drink, I got an appetizer, I got a dessert, I got an entree. All in all, for one person, that was 50 bucks, which I guess is pretty par for the course. They do take discounts here as well. I was able to get her Antihito's reservation pretty easy, and I would recommend 
getting one if you were coming here. All I did was go to the Antihitos page on Universal's website. There was a link to reserve a table and I was able to get one right at four o'clock. And it seemed like there was a whole bunch of different ways to get one. And I would definitely recommend getting a reservation because they do have like, like standby seats, like they'll seat you outside. And there are seats at the two bars that they have, which are both first come first serve. So that's pretty great. But if you want to sit indoors, you will need a reservation. The best part was easily that table side guac. That was just so cool. I love seeing it get prepared right in front of you and it tasted great. The burrito was really solid. It wasn't like my favorite burrito that I've ever had, but I think burritos and like pizza are like two of those things that like you really can't get wrong. So like even a half okay burrito is still a pretty solid burrito. There was a whole bunch of other stuff on the menu that looked really, really good. I loved the fried ice cream as a dessert. It was awesome. It was a really, really solid time. And if you are looking to have Mexican food here at Universal, Antijitos is the way to go. It was really, really solid. The appetizers are great for sharing. It was a good time. So I am ready to go home. I am gonna like lay on the couch for an hour before I start working on this video. But <laughs> until then, that is all I got. So thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you decide whether or not you want to eat at Hand Tejitos. I had a great time. I hope you have a great time. Expect more City Walk dinner videos. I am excited to do more of those. And I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, we'll start doing some of the bars up here. Pat O'Brien's Rising Star. That'll be pretty cool. But until then, I'm gonna get on out of here. I'm gonna go home and uh, let nature take its course, uh, do what it does when you have burritos and chips and guac and, and, and Mexican food. And, you, know, you know what I'm getting at. I'm gonna stop talking now. So thank you guys for watching. See you around.